Hi, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I am doing my final tests on the ESP32 S2 Feather that I designed. I finally got the modules with PSRAM built in, uh, so that makes it really good for use with CircuitPython or Arduino. Got to get that extra PSRAM. So, what I'm doing is I'm testing it against all my different Feather wings to make sure uh, they work, you know, the Ada Logger, with the OLED, all that. And uh, one of the tests I'm doing is with the RGB Matrix. Feather wings, so this allows uh, it to plug into, uh, you know, these nice RG matrices. So this demo um, is actually a Circuit Python demo uh, that connects to GitHub and gets the number of stars for Circuit Python and then um, displays it onto the matrix. So we've got 2,631 stars, and uh, it's you know it's pretty fast. What I like about having the native uh, Wi-Fi is it can connect to the internet. And get data in uh, just a couple seconds. So so far working so good. I'm going to order this hardware real soon. Cool. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm making more STEM IQT boards. Um, I did get a big shipment of AT Tiny 817s, which means I can make these STEM IQT to um, sensor breakouts. So this is a slide potentiometer to I squared C converter board, and there's four NeoPixels. Now, you know, my controllers have ADC, so you know, you may not need a board like this to convert it to I squared C. But a single board computer like a Raspberry Pi or an Onion Pi or, you know, whatever Linux machine often don't have ADCs. And so if you want to add just like one or two slide pots, this could be a really easy plug and play way to do it because you just do it over I squared C, plug and play, and then you get the analog reading. So this is the board and you can see those nice NeoPixels underneath. I'm testing it with a Metro Mini and I'm programming it over UDPI with a uh, USB to serial converter. And these are the values. Looking good, ready to ship. All right, so we got a few things here. What's this? Okay, uh, so I finally got around to redesigning all those boards that were uh, based off of the um, SAMD09 that were like STEM QT user interface stuff. So this is the Neo Slider, which you saw. It's a uh, 75 millimeter slide pitch drum with some NeoPixels underneath it. And it's controllable over I2C, which is very handy. Um, if uh, you don't have analog inputs or you just want to make a simple user interface. And then this is the tester that goes with it. It's what the tester looks like. Yeah. And then uh, we had another thing. I think this is from the week before. Yeah, I just kind of put together this quick uh, breakout. I fit everything on the Stemma QT board for the PAJ7620. It's a gesture sensor. Oh, I'll try it out. And in case you didn't see it, because you know, we've had uh, Adabox unboxing and a lot going on. We've been publishing a lot. Oh, well, on. We, we have um, a series of pink PCB boards um, that we're going to be releasing. Yeah, I want to redo the Feather M4. I mean, it might be purple. I don't know if it's going to be pink, but maybe yeah. it'll be pink. Well, we're going to have a whole bunch of different colors, but one of the first ones we're leading with is uh, pink. Yeah. So I wanted to redo the Feather M4. Um, one thing is we, we actually ended up, you know, the Silicon Georgia ended up with a lot of SAMD 51 J20s. Um, and we used a J19 on the Feather M4, and I was like, ah, you know, if I'm going to upgrade the chip, I, I should just actually do a little bit of a upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So, you know, I updated the amount of flash and I put a stomach UT port and there's a button on the end. And then I was like on the bottom, let's put a, um, you know, micro SD slot. So, you know, there's a lot going on here, um, but I think it's a nice little upgrade. You know, people really like the Feather M4 and I was like, what can I do to make it even better? That's top secret.